Hello and welcome. The next case in rank correlation. And this time we are going to learn how to assign ranks where the repetition of some values is there in the problem. See, 40 is 2 times in case of A. 101 is 2 times in case of B. Also 95, also 97. In such cases, we have to assign mean of the consecutive ranks in turn. Let us discuss all the things with the help of this case. In case of fair, 55 is the highest, so rank 1, 54, rank 2, 53, rank 3, uh, 49, rank 4. After 49, it is turn of 43, rank 5, 42, rank 6. 41 rank 7 now it is turn of 40 we cannot assign 8 and 9 to similar same, same value 40 at two different places so it is logical to take mean of these two consecutive ranks 8 and 9 8 plus 9 70 divided by 2 8.5 so rank 8.5 will be assigned to 40 at these two different places this is the new thing and we have already used rank 8 as well as 9. 10 will be assigned to 35, the smallest value in A. Now, in case of B, 102 is the highest rank 1. 101 is the second highest value, but it is 2 times. So, we have to use 2 and 3. But we have to assign mean of 2 and 3. That will be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, 2.5. Okay, after 101, which is the highest value? It is 98. We have already used 2 and 3 for 101. So now it is turn of rank 4. Now 97. 5 and 6 are the two consecutive ranks available for 97 at two different places. But we cannot assign 5 and 6. So we have to take mean 5 plus 6 divided by 2, 5.5. 5.5 and 5.5 Now we have already used 5 and 6 for 97 It is turn of 7 But 95 is for 2 times So again 7 and 8 2 consecutive ranks But we have to take mean 7 plus 8 divided by 2 15 divided by 2 7.5 7.5 and 7.5 We have already used 7 and 8 so, it is turn of 9, that will be rank of 92, and the last, the smallest value 38, rank 10. So, in this way, we have to use mean of the forthcoming ranks. Now, it is deviation B, that will be RA minus RB or RB minus RA. 10 minus 9, 10 minus 1, 9, 8.5 minus 2.5 is 6. 6 minus 5.5.5, 5 minus 4, 1, 8.5 minus 10, minus 1.5, 3 minus 2.5 is 0.5, 2 minus 3, 5.5 is minus 3.5, 4 minus 9 is minus 5, 7 minus 7.5 is minus 0.5, and 1 minus 7.5 is minus 6.5. Take care. At the time of taking squared values, I have already written the squared values. Uh, 981, 636, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 1 means 1, 1 1.5 positive or negative, 2.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 3.5 negative or positive, the squared value will be for 3.5, it must be 12.25. For 5, it will be 25. For 0.5, it will be 0.25. And for 6.5, it will be 42.25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it will be 1.5. 2, 8, 9, 11, 13, 18, 20, 2 plus 8, 10, 13, 14, 16, and 20. So, D square comes to 200.5 200.5 Now the coefficient of rank correlation is 1 minus 
six sigma d square upon n into n square minus one. So it is one minus six into two hundred point five upon thirteen. Sorry, not thirteen. In this case, it is ten only. Ten into ten square hundred minus one. So it is one minus twelve hundred three divided by nine hundred ninety. So it is one minus one point two one five. So the coefficient of rank correlation in this particular case comes to minus point two one five. The main point of this lecture was assigning ranks in case of repetition of the values. That's it. Thank you very much.